Namaste friends, Dr. Priya from US Ayurveda. Let's understand what is Ritu Sandhi Kala. So Ritu Sandhi Kala is those days where one season ends and the second season starts. So example if we have one season of four months. So after like say three and a half months, the last seven days of that first season and the first seven days of the next season. So these two weeks, these 15 days are called as Ritu Sandhi Kala. Why Ritu Sandhi Kala is so important and why our Acharyas, our old, uh, our ancient sages would have talked about it. Because here we will have to take care of ourselves with respect to our Agni, about our diet, about our activities. Because neither you can follow the diet of the summer season, neither you can follow the diet of the rainy season because it is Rutu Sandhi Kala. So always remember, during this span, the Agni is a bit low. So always try to have easily digestible food. Do not get engaged into fried items or too much of spicy. Anything which is extreme, do not get engaged into those type of uh, food habits. So always try to have light, easily digestible food. Like boiled mung is extremely good. So whole green gram, you can just soak it for two to three hours. And then you can make a kashayam or a soup out of this moong and this moong soup is extremely good during this season and you can have khichdi khichdi can be made with rice at the same time moong dal that is the whole green gram what you have you can use the whole green gram or you can use the half green gram with the skin and you can make khichdi when you are making khichdi you can add some spices to it for easy digestion and for agni deepana so the spices what you can add are hing that is esophotida you could add turmeric that is curcuma and you can even add black pepper that is maricha and when you are using the salt make sure that you use sainthava so sainthava is the ayurvedic salt what we use so sainthava can be used so this type of food which are easily digestible are extremely good you can have boiled vegetables you can have uh, what we say soups also try to avoid raw salads during the rutu santi kala so just work on these aspects. Always make sure that you have sufficient good sleep of at least 6 to 8 hours depending upon your prakruti and your requirements of the body. So have good sleep. Make sure that you start your day with meditation and exercises. Of course it is not that only during the Ritu Sandhikala you have to do all these things. But during the Ritu Sandhikala make sure that you are really working on yourself and your body so that you do not get the... the what we say the diseases or the symptoms because of the variation in the seasons and at the same time the variations in the doshas also. So friends, Ritu Sandhi Kala, always you should remember about these 15 days which is the end of one season and the starting of the other season. So now you can see that when the summer is ending and when you have rainy season you will have extremely, sometimes you feel like sweating, at times you feel very cool. So you, you will see extreme changes during these 15 days. For these 15 days, you will have to take care of your diet and your activities. Thank you, friends.